FedEx delivered he car a winning position. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thinking about Pacific Heights. Yeah, because actually with task managers are what they do is um what they do with task managers, they actually show because apparently, I mean I think I can say I think I can say this, right? I don't think it's like leaking anything, but like they make you show the users uh in your task manager. They make you show the users. Cause I guess theoretically you could have someone else connect to your computer. So like you have to show task manager and you have to show the uh that. So I'm gonna go G3 again. Yeah, Twitch chat's always in emote mode. Um, like, let's be real. I don't think that's leaking anything, though, because, I, I mean, that's pretty well known. Yeah, you have to, you have to show users. Um, I don't know why I'm playing this. But I am. I'll play Knight D2, maybe E4. Could have played Knight F3 also. I mean, the fact that he didn't go E5 tells me he doesn't want to play E5. Okay, he does play it. Interesting. So I'll play E4 now. This is Knight of Three and Castles. V very, very standard position here. Like rookie one, pressure the pawn, maybe D4. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Logical. I could go B3. I mean,. This position I'm trying to remember if I take and play C4 what what's what's going on I'm not actually sure um A4 is always a move I don't I don't particularly like A4 I mean B3 is also a move too uh I think I'm gonna go A4 though I don't really like A4 but whatever it doesn't matter it's still just chess pressure the pawn at E5 Knight on B4 looks really impressive right now, but I don't think it's going to be very impressive in a couple of moves. I'm assuming I can kick this knight back eventually. Uh, I think I'll go here. And like, I'm going to go C3 and maybe D4. Wow, he plays D4. That's not a move that I expected, actually. Wow, okay, let's go knight C4 and hit the bishop. doesn't look right to me I mean really this d4 does not look right now I could take their um takes is no good I mean I guess I'll just take I always have bishop a3 I also have c3 I think I'm just gonna go h3 though um to stop bishop g4 maybe rook e2 I also have knight h4 okay goes there I mean I can go knight g5 and take the two b's I think I should take the two b's probably yeah, I expected that. I mean, I can take, I can play h4. Um, Queen d2 looks completely reasonable also. I'm going to probably take the bishop at some point. Not not yet, but soon. Um, let's just take. Now I have to take. Very hard to judge what's going on here. It's a very strange. Wow, that's not a move I expected either. Somehow every move Bordnick is playing is confusing me right now. I'm just gonna go h4 and bishop h3. Yeah, every move Borning is playing has me like really confused. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because it means either he's playing good moves or he's playing really bad moves. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming he's playing bad moves though, because I mean his pieces don't look right. Like logically, when I look at this position, his pieces don't look like they're on the right squares to me at least. Uh, let's just go here. Maybe work up one's a little bit better. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe we're... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Who's there? I mean, I'll just go bishop c1. I Basically, my argument here... Or not argument, but the point is that... How does he do anything on the queen side? He's, ve he's very locked up here. He can't move the knight. He loses a pawn. I've got the bishop targeting. I can always use the other diagonal as well. And I just... I don't know what his plan is exactly. I think I'm better here. I do think I'm better. I don't know if I'm, like, much better, only a little bit better, but I feel like I'm better. Uh, he's looking to go for some cheesy sack, I think. I guess I'll just go here. I don't even know if this... Yeah, this wasn't right either, probably, but whatever. Okay, it goes there. I'm just going to go here. Okay, it goes there. Now, though... Okay, this is what I expected. Now, I think what I want to do is eventually... I have bishop a3, maybe. Let's go here. 
I'm just going to try to slowly improve my position here. I could go here. It doesn't do anything, though. So I think I'm just going to go here. Okay, now I can maybe go f4 if I want. I can also play h5. I don't, I don't like h5, actually. I think I'm just going to go here. I'm going to play this very, very slow. I think I'll tickle the rook. I'm, I'm going to basically keep slow playing this as long as I can. I can always go h5, but it doesn't look right to me. How do I do? How do I improve is the problem. Okay, now I've got to come with a move. I mean, f4 is what I want to play. I think I'll just go for it. Why not? Okay, sax. I think I have queen e1. I'm just making sure there are no tricks here, like a knight c2. And I expected that. Jesus, I can go h6. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to do it. My instinct says that somehow there should be a way to open up the board soon. Like maybe here. Why did I do this? This is ridiculous too. Why did I do this? What the heck? I do this though I don't actually know how to break through oh, I've got to move what did I just do I just blundered again Oh, I miss this too. <sighs> Why am I? S Why did I just? Oh my god! What am I doing? Why can't I move? God, now I hung. I, oh, I do the same thing as earlier. Oh, yeah. Same thing as earlier. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Exact same thing I did earlier. Oh, ridiculous. B1, knight B4. Oh, so frustrating. No, this isn't about late Tuesday. I'm doing exactly what I did this morning. Really, really annoyed at myself. Really, really annoyed at myself. A, I could have forced a draw, but B, I was up 30 seconds. I had a better position, and then I fall apart. Yeah, same thing. 
I'm overthinking. I mean, I don't know if I'm overthinking per se, but yeah, it's like when I get the good position, I'm sort of like, I'm starting to think too long. Like when I'm up 30 seconds there, I should just keep going, keep pressure on the clock. Instead, I slowed down too much. Yeah. What I do about Hans' performance in Zurich? Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with, nothing to do with, um, nothing to do with other stuff. Just like, ah, disappointing. Mind you, I was losing the first couple of games. Need more coffee? Yeah. Yeah. And now I get a terrible pairing. Of course, I get a terrible pairing after that as well. Uh, good G6. I mean, I, I guess I just have to play King Zinni and try to win. Because, like, now a draw is just, like, uh, unacceptable. No, I should have forced a draw. That was just so insane. Because then I can draw another game and I still can win the tournament. But now it's like, now I have to go all in. Uh, let's play A6. Maybe music off or turn on something without lyrics, maybe. Okay, goes H4. Let's go here. I mean, I can go H5. I think I would just play H5. I think I'm going to go here and maybe trade and go like Knight FD7 or something. Still have Knight C6. I think I'll go knight of d7 and maybe c5. It goes there, so I take. Of course, I should play c5. There's d5 expected. I don't know if b5 is a move here. It doesn't really look like a move, but I can also maybe go knight e5, actually. Maybe knight e5 is interesting. Yeah, it goes f3. If I play knight e7... Obsession's maybe not so bad, actually. I thought it was bad, but now I'm not sure how bad it is. Maybe it's Q decent for the 22 months. You know what's crazy? If I played Rook B1 instead of Rook H1, I probably would have drawn that game. Let's see what he does. Okay, Castle. I have Knight B6 here as a move. I don't know if it's a good move, but if I don't play knight b6, what am I doing is the question. F4. Four... <sighs> I don't really want to castle. But I think I should just castle. I have a feeling I probably should have played knight b6. Just, just a feeling. But he's using Jeffrey's using a lot of time here. Let's work up c1. I mean, I can go queen a5. I can also play b5 somewhere. I'm just going to go queen a5. And probably rook fb8 at some point. Or bishop h6 maybe also. Maybe is a move. Maybe. Goes a3, which seems weird. I don't... A3 looks like a very strange move to me. I don't... I don't... Maybe it's, maybe it's a good move, but it looks very weird. It's bishop d2... So if I go b5, knight b5, queen b6, knight c3, queen b, b5, knight b5. Queen a4, knight c3, la, 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 I think I'm going to go um, b5, b4. Again, I have to calculate a lot, which is really annoying. I think I'm just going to do it. I don't actually know if this is good or not, but I'd rather not do any deep calculations. I'd rather just play chess. Let's see what he does here. So he takes with the pawn. Okay, so of course I take back. Oh, he goes knight d1. Also not, not a move I was expecting. I can play b4. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go B4 here. Could've moved the queen too, me. Eh. Yeah, I feel like I, I misplayed this a little bit. Unless I can sack a queen, maybe? I don't think I can. Maybe I can, but... If I go like queen d8, what's this? He's just got f4, I guess, but knight g4. Maybe six, maybe. Let's just go here. Hard to judge because that four knight g4 b2 hangs at the end. It's also weakness on b2 as well. Oh, I do feel like this is one of the better games that I've played. One of the better games I've played played in the second title Tuesday. Jeffrey, wait, why is Jeffrey so slow? Jeez. Okay, it goes there. I mean, b3 is a move. Knight c5 is another move. Rook a8 is also a move. B3, b3 looks like a decent move. Knight b6 is playable, but I think I'm going to go knight c5 here. Go here. I'm really trying to press him on the clock here. How do I do this? Maybe just there. Yeah, we got the win. Is Jeffrey playing a tournament somewhere, by the way? Oh, does he have queen b5 here? Oh my god, he's got queen b Oh my gosh. Um... Queen b5 and I just is mate and fought. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess that makes up for the Bortnik game, eh? I guess that makes up for the Bort Bortnik game. How do I do that? I'm like that's where I'm up 50 seconds, so I try to win, move quickly and win. He's so much Tuddy Wuddy for the eight months. Bortnik is gonna win title Tuesday, by the way. Lucky noob, yeah, exactly. Thanks so much to X Factor for the 18 months. Yeah. Oh, whoa, listen to the music. Um, where's the win, though? King G8, King F8, where's the win? Chat, Borning messed this up. He's, he, he, I think he's still gonna win this game, but he messed it up. This was winning, and now he's only a little bit better. Bordek has not won the tournament. There are many more games to go. Apparently, that's a big mistake. I don't... Oh, because now you can't go King F8 because of Rook H8. Ouch. Still a long, long way to go. Long, long way to go. Am I sleeping eight hours a day? Usually, yes. Usually. Listen to the music. Whoa. Listen to the music. Okay, so what's going on? So, a bunch of us on six out of seven. Angel still playing because this game's messed up, so we'll just wait for a time. Bornick, I would say Bornick, um, I would say Bornick without increment, it's not even close. Daniel is much, much better with increment. I would say that I think they're about the same. I think Bornick maybe is a little bit better than Daniel with increment. Without increment, I think Daniel's miles ahead, but with increment, I would give Bornick a very slight edge. I would give I would give Bornick a very very slight edge with increment. Without increment, Dan is just much better. Um, so that, that's my assessment. Bornick did not change federations, I don't believe, but he does live in the United States of America. I think he lives in uh, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. So you can obviously check that. Uh, Bornick, Bornick Alexander. Um, he is PDA page. Let's go here. He is representing Ukraine. He's from he, he represents Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's representing Ukraine. But he lives in the U.S., so that's, yeah. But for someone like Bornick, there's no reason to actually change Federation, probably. Because, like, he's not going to make the Olympiad team, so why switch? Bornick's work sacrifice of brilliancy? No, it wasn't. Um, it was probably about... E it, was, it was 
probably about equal I would say I think I was maybe a little bit better but I think I did I played f4 at the wrong time I should I should have waited until he's a little bit lower before doing it Daniel without increment is it on the board or just online I'm talking about uh online specifically I mean I Daniel I mean you know it's funny I've never actually I don't think I've ever played Dania and Blitz over the board. I think it's always, I played him one classical game in the US Championship in 2015, but I don't think I've ever played Dania over the board. So um, I don't actually know if Dania has the same speed. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if he has the, I don't know if he has the big speed. So yeah. Uh, respectfully, why do you think you repeat things? Because when I'm streaming, I try not to have any dead air time. So I have one thought and then I have other thoughts in my head. And then I read chat as well. So when you have 50 thoughts running through your head at the same time, it's not easy to deal with. Daniel's not better than without income. But Daniel, I think is very clearly three slash four. I would put Daniel in the same category as, as, um, as Ali Reza with, uh, without increment, which of course is a big compliment. Could play c4 let's play c4 let's play more ben onis i'm playing a lot of ben oni structures so why not play another ben oni oh this is one i don't know if this one's actually good or not i guess i take and go here knight c4 probably or just just castle okay i what is he trying is he trying to do something funky here what's he trying to do okay queen d7 is a weird move um I think I'll just go a3. Okay, he's gonna play bishop h3. So I can obviously trade. Uh, if I go queen c2, I also have queen a4 maybe. Why? Why am I thinking so long? This is ridiculous by me, by the way. Why am I thinking so long again? Yeah, I'm just. I'm literally using ten years in the opening. What's wrong with me? I'll just play e4 maybe. Um Okay, I'm still way too slow though. Why am I so slow? Jeez. Here I guess. Yeah, I'm I'm like literally like why am I so slow? It's unbelievable. Okay, now now at least I get a position that I can make the next like 10, 15 moves very quickly. If I go B4, Knight D4, that's no good. So let's go here. Now I get Rook C1. Okay, this this position I actually like. I, I don't love it, but I think it's completely reasonable. Interesting. He takes it. Now I could take. But I think I'm just gonna go Rook C1. If I take Queen D4, I also have Rook here. Knight d4, queen d4, rook c4. Thinking too long again. I think I'll just go a4 and b3, maybe. Or b4, rook c4, maybe. Actually, let's go b4. So I want to go rook c4 to maybe hit the bishop here and trade it off. There's also knight h4 somewhere, too. We'll see if this knight is better than the bishop. I want to go rook c4 my big big uh go to go to move but i'm down on time so i i do have to pick up the speed quite a bit here i expected that uh oh if i go rook c4 he wants b5 okay that's why am i afraid of that i don't think i am no i don't think i'm afraid of b5 So I have queen a2, I've got rook b1, I've got rook c7, I've got knight h4. I'm trusting my instinct here that this is not actually bad for me. Like, I could be wrong. Like, I could actually be in a lot of danger here. But probably I can't ever really be in danger because I can always just trade the knight for the bishop. Let's go here. There's also queen a2 looming as well. Uh, 
Of course, I missed that, obviously. Check. If I take on d4, queen d4, I think I go rook c8. Yeah, not happy with the way I'm playing this game at all. If I trade... Ah, but wait, now I can enter. Wait, now I enter with queen f7. Wait, wait, no, no, I think he made a mistake because now I'm entering. Now I'm infiltrating here with queen f7. He made a mistake. Now, now he's in real trouble because now the pawns are both weak and I'm getting the kebab on the seventh rank. He made a mistake here. Bishop c5, that does not look right. Um, There's also knight h... Yeah, let's just go all in with knight h4. Why not? All aboard the attack train. Oh, is he okay again? I missed b6, and now I don't have anything. I'm such a moron. That's great. I just blundered. Excellent. Excellent for me. Just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I messed this up completely, and now I'm just probably lost. Ridiculous for me. Absolutely ridiculous for me. Unbelievable. I mean, now I have to, like, play something stupid and pray for a miracle. Just not my day, really. A slight mistake from uh slight mistake from um from Jordan. Slight mistake. Doesn't mean I'm winning or anything. But at least now I feel like I can go like here and check and take or something. Yeah, like now there's some now there's some tricks though. Now I can ah let's go here, I guess. Oh, wait. I, oh, no, it doesn't work. I thought it was working. <laughs> oh, my God. Garbage. Like, it's hilarious. The last two games where I played absolute garbage chess, I've won. And the game against Bortnik where I actually played a good game, I lose that one, of course. Uh, 90, oh, 94 is still a draw. Yeah, now I thought B6, I'm just getting cooked hard. No, I didn't call him garbage. I said I, I said the game was garbage. Yeah. No, I mean, it's hilarious. The game against Borneo, I play well, and that's the one that I lose in these last two games where I'm just, like, blundering like a lunatic. Okay. Oh, I could have made a draw. I could have checked and made a draw. I have this weird, like, uh, Pyramid of G's a check. Oh, I actually really suck at chess, but he missed it. Yeah, then he plays h5. I mean, yeah. Anyway, whatever. We got the win. We're on 7 out of 8. Let's see how Bortnik does. Bortnik lost to Enjol. So I think that means... Or no, Bortnik won. Sorry. Wow, Bortnik won. So he's on 8 out of 8. Um, I'm on 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Guys on 7. All right, you guys. This means we're going to have a break um, after this round. So I'm going to go use the Russian very quickly. We'll be back. Um, and... Why is why not taking this pawn? What? Why is why not taking this pawn? What the heck? Thank you so much to Kevin likes to flip for the 21 months. Thank you so much to Kevin likes to flip for the 21 month resub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, and now you bring the king closer and eventually... Yeah, 
here there's bishop f6 or bishop c7 that's the other way king f6 and then you just check the king over check check and now you go king g6 and then you just wait bishop b7 bishop d or this and checkmate yeah so all right so Skvortsov wins the game against Christopher Yu let's see what else do we have okay one game left let's see this is El Clasico thank you so much El Geiser for the eight months thank you D Pate for the prime thank you so much Yeah, it's rook g5 or this check rook d5 or not okay are we gonna get el classic or is this gonna be a draw okay game's a draw all right you guys are gonna take a short break we'll be right back and uh, then we'll have round number nine so give me one second you guys we'll be right back all right you guys we're back so seven out of eight um not not wonderful um but it's decent lie things were dratoon for the prime I la 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 lie. This is Simon and Garfunkel. This is the boxer. The boxer. A little bit too slow for me. Let me move the song up. Next one. Uh, Beatles not my thing right now. Here we go. Some Queen. This is good. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, this isn't. This is queen but it's yeah this is yeah this song this is a good song I want it all <laughs> all right seven out of eight let's see next round should be starting in a second I think do I smoke no I don't I don't Bordick with an infinite performance already. Send this off to my lawyers. I'm sure they'll be in contact soon. <laughs> yes, Bordick has an infinite performance. That's true. Because if you're if you're uh, if you have a perfect score, you, they can't calculate it. So that's true. Yep. You are right. You are right. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. I want it now. So, all right. Who is fairness on YouTube? That is Dimitri Andreykin. The um, he is the Russian. I think he's represents Serbia now, but he's a Russian GM. Um, very strong player. Um, what, what would Fabi's performance rating be if he won all the games in the sink field in 2015? His performance rating would have been like, I don't know, 3,900. I don't know. Something like that. I, I mean, it would be infinite technically, but I'm guessing it'd be like 3,900 just to guess. I, I, I believe that he, I believe that Andre can represent Serbia. Of course he's from Russia originally, but I think he's in Serbia if I'm not mistaken. So I get Timor. A ter like why am I playing a 2700 plus player when we're not even leading the tournament okay let's play a6 let's have some fun I'm probably gonna get smash I mean but I gotta do something weird okay plays a4 what's a good move here I guess I'll play knight f6 <laughs> okay so now team is having fun so this is gonna be a very hard game it's gonna be one of these games where it's hard to take it seriously let's go c5 It goes e3. I guess I'll play b6. I 
I could just trade. I mean, I can also play D5, maybe. I mean, he's played A4, which should... Actually, is A4... I thought A4 was bad, a bad move for him, but it's not. It's actually not bad. Okay, what do I want to do? I can also just play Knight C6. I can trade. I mean, what do I want to do? I guess... I need to win the game, so I should I should actually trade 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 the pawns and just play normal chess here. I can obviously trade the knights if I want to as well, but this turned into a very normal kind of position, which is kind of weird. Like this become very normal. We need two logical. I could play knight before here. In fact, I think I should because he played a4, so I should take advantage of this uh, hook here. Like knight f6. I mean, he has bishop e4. Okay. I mean, I assume I should play knight f6, maybe knight d5, and rook c8. I think I should be better here, actually. Maybe better is too strong a way of putting it, but I don't feel like I should really be worse. That much is clear. Queen e4, I have g6, of course. There, I could play rook c8. His problem is this rook on a1 and bishop on b1. The rook specifically is not in the game. If this rook could be on d1, white would probably be better. But the rook on a1 just isn't placed correctly. Let's see what he does. I think I'm better here, though. It's it's hard for me to think that I'm not better. Like, queen e4 is a move, and then f5. This bishop on b1 just not really in in the heart of the action at all. Okay, he's thinking. Let's see what he does. He's looking for a sack here, maybe? If he goes rook a3. Okay. Makes sense. Very, very logical move. I could play f5. Could also go g6. Queen d7. Knight c I mean, I've got literally 500 moves here. I don't know which one's best. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go queen d7. Just have to make sure there are no sacks here. I should have played rookie eight actually. Need a big Billy for the hundred bits. Yeah, I mean, why did I play? Queen? I didn't even think, and I played queen d seven. Just missing ninety five. The whole concept of what he had here. Jeez, so stupid, bun. Why did I do this? What the heck's wrong with me? Okay, let's, okay I'm, I've got a lot of time here, so I should actually think and be careful. If I don't take, what am I doing? This has to be correct. So I can take on G7. ridiculous why did I do this <laughs> I have bishop f3 maybe wait bishop f3 queen f3 king g7 the king is bishop h7 bishop e1 bishop h7 I mean, I guess I should take. I mean, I'm going to take on B4 and pray that I'm not losing, basically. I take... Oh, he's got Queen E4, which I didn't see either. Another messed, another messed up title Tuesday by me. I think I have to take another title Tuesday that I just messed up for literally no good reason. <laughs> what is Queen D7? I mean, that's such a stupid move. Even Rookie Eight is fun. Rookie Eight, G6, anything but Queen D7, which allows him the whole sack. Ridiculous. 
I mean, maybe I'm still okay, but it's going to be very hard. The only good thing is he's got no time. Wait, wait, wait. Think, think, think. Don't blitz. Here, I guess. Getting low on time. I think I'm I think I should survive this. Why did I do that? That was stupid too. I think I'm gonna win the game now. Great fun. Now I should win. I've got Rook A1. Very, very poor game. I was much, much better here, I think. Yeah, Queen D7 was a ridiculous move by me. Yeah, now White's winning. Or maybe not winning, but much better. Literally, any move except Queen D7. Thank you to Gary Kasparov. I was the main reason it's such a bad move is because it gives him this hook. And then the Rook gets to G3, Queen gets to H5, and I just get absolutely crushed on the King side. Yeah. So what's going on? Is it still a draw or not? King G4. King H4. Should be a way for white to z triangulate here. Wait, Borning is white or black? He's white, I guess. So he's going to win this game and go to 9 out of 9. Yeah. I think you're supposed to wait. I think there's Queen H2, is it? Still tricky, but I... Bornick might not win this, by the way. I think Bornick's probably not going to win this. He was winning this at the start. Yeah, it's a draw now. Yeah, this was not a draw, by the way. Thank you so much to Bastion LA for the Prime. Thank you, Bastion LA. It's probably good for my chances. Very good for my overall chances. Yeah, it's a draw. 50 move repetition. Yeah. GM Rajbel versus Karu, 86.4, 91.4. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that the moves were pretty decent by both of us past a certain point, but also, like, Queen D7 was such a bad move. Such a bad move. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have? So I'm on eight, so is Blue Bound. I assume that means Blue Bound plays Bordnik, and I play one of the seven and a halves. Wow, we've got a CM on seven and a half out of nine. And Andre Skvortsov, wow. Okay, what do I want to play? Let's keep going G3. Slow and simple. Slow and simple. Yeah, slow and simple. My tie break again is very. My tie break is terrible yet again. Oh, let's just go D3. 
Knight d2, e4. That's what I played against Bornick earlier. Kind of just in the mood to play slow, boring kind of chess. Let's go e4. I feel like with c6, this isn't... With c6, I don't think it's supposed to be so great for black, as I recall. But I could be wrong, obviously. Knight a6 logical. I can go e5. I think I'm just going to play it. I'm going to go a3, maybe c4 here. I really want to go c4 and kick the knight away. Logical. Rookie one seems reasonable. Like knight h4, knight d4, maybe knight b3. Actually, I think maybe I should have played knight b3 right away, but whatever. Okay, so I go c4. Knight b6, b4, rook d8. I do have knight h4 here, maybe. I don't know if it's a good move, though. Knight b3 is the what looks like the very logical human move, so I'm just going to play knight b3. And queen e2, because now the, his knight is dominated. There are no jumps, basically. I dominate the critical squares. I've got knight fd4. I've got h3. A lot of different ways to play this position. Need a burkrep tap for the knight and crow 2k for the prime as well. He goes queen b6. Ah, because he wants knight c5 anyway. Okay, so I guess I'll play knight h... Maybe I go knight of d4 and c4, maybe? Wait, knight of... Yeah, let's think about this. Knight of d4, bishop c8, c4, knight c7, bishop e3, bishop e5, knight c6. Yeah, let's go here, and I want to go c4. And now the knights hold each other at night. The two knights hold each other. So they're, they're coupled. And now I've got bishop e3. I don't know. I mean, this looks great. Maybe I'm missing something. Bishop e5, knight six, queen b3. Maybe it's not so clear. Oh, wait, bishop e5? Do I... Wait. Oh, no. I thought I had knight b5. Maybe I have it anyway. Go here. I mean, it feels like I'm much better here. I feel like he's under a lot of pressure. Actually, I guess it's the same thing. If you take taken, I could have played the same line with a different sequence, but... He's got this, and am I really not better here? Uh, Bishop d2, maybe. I think I'm going to go here with the idea of Bishop a5. I don't know if this is actually good, but it looks very dangerous. Sacks? Okay, so... Oh, wait, I can also... T wait, but I can... No, then he's got Rook d7, so... I take with the Knight or the Queen. I guess I take with the... Queen probably to keep pressure on the bishop and I'm probably talking too much again as well I should just like start playing chess and stop talking so much but it's still not easy to play this position I mean a4 is a move I think a4 has got to be right to go for a5 maybe actually a4 wait I can go a5 pull this trade and take on a7 this should be very good for me hit the bishop yeah this should be good Mm. I should be winning. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Let's roll. Bornick drew quickly against Bluebaum. Okay, now I think, I mean, I can play Rook D. Maybe I play Rook E D1. I mean, it, this has to be winning, though. Huh. Actually, I think I'll play Rook D1. I, I have an idea. I want to go, like, Rook D7. I did misplay this very slightly, I think, but whatever. Yeah, it's got bishop e6 or something. But nonetheless, I mean, really hard to believe this isn't just winning. Oh, it's also knight b5. I mean, this this has to be winning. If this isn't winning, I don't know what I'm doing playing chess anymore. Let's go rookie one. 
90. Oh, wait, no, 94 is no good. I have rookie three. Two, wait, rookie three. Seems fine. What am I doing, actually? Wait, what am I actually... Wait. What the heck am I doing? Am I actually trying to lose this game? What am I doing? I'm still going to win this game, but what am I doing? C3, I just take. I'm fine. Ridiculous by me. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, C3, I can just take and go Bishop F3. <sighs> Bishop E4, Bishop D1. C2, Knight, B3, yeah, and I go here, stop the pawn, and... <sighs> Did not play this well, but I'm gonna win the game. I go here, there's Bishop E4. I think I just go, like, here, probably. Pushing. That's rook d8 and easy. There we go. Oh, we got the win. Is he not gonna resign? <laughs> He's not gonna resign. Okay. Okay, we got the win. I think it was a spicy Hummer for the Prime. Okay, so we got the win. We're on 9 out of 10. One more to go. Let's we'll see what's happening in Anjal's game. He's playing the CM Skvortsov. And he is going to win. Anjal will win this game. Okay, so let's take a look at what the standings are. Standings are... Let's see, what do we have? 9 out of 10. Um, so I can't play Bortnik. I've got a garbage tiebreaker. So I have to go all in again. My tiebreaker is so bad, 44.5. Thank you for the man for the 17 months. Thank you so much for Reataman. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. My tiebreaker is terrible. So like even if even if I win and if Bordnick wins the last round, I'm not gonna win. Although I would argue, um, I would argue that on the other hand, like it, it's it's fair that he has a much better tiebreaker. It, it's it's very fair because he beat me in the heads up match. So yeah. Explain the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is the points to the uh, to the right. It's like I've got forty four. He's got fifty one. I think it's based. It's some kind of score of your opponents or something. Thank you so much to mobile mobile uh, hierarch for the two and then you big extra forty six. Yeah, it's the sum of the opponent's points. The only problem is sometimes it. Oh no, it, it is correct. But I feel like it can get to point two five sometimes, which is weird. So yeah. But whatever. Okay, let's see. There is a there are multiple prizes, you guys. Let's see, Buddy Pranav. Okay, this will be a draw, of course. Rook A3. It's weighted by your score against your opponent, exactly, yeah. He's gonna try to go rook d3, but it doesn't matter. Just trade. Takes king f2, king e4, king e2 is a draw. Check. Rook b3. Now, I mean, this is just a draw. Check. Rook b3. Thank you so much to Nash for the uh, Prime. There's a donation. Did I miss a dono? Big don't. Wait, why didn't I see it? Let me scroll up. Wait. You guys trolling me? I don't see any dono. Wait, am I missing it? Wait, what? Oh, someone, okay, what, what are someone doing $200? Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Think of Brian for the 100 bits as well. Okay. I got a, um, 
I don't want to play this. I think I'll play King's Indian. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I, I missed something clearly. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll play A6 again. Something different. This is why I played against Jeffrey, right? And I, I won with it. So why not go for it? Yeah. Yeah. I can play C6, B5 too. I can also just go... I think I'll just go Knight F6 here. Guess I'll go C6. Okay, I don't know what you guys are doing. Sorry, I gotta focus on the game. All right, three. I can obviously play B5. I think I should just play B5 here. E5 of Knight G4 goes A3. Logical. Okay, Bishop G4 seems reasonable. I think I want to go like Knight FD7 and Castles or something. I'm trying to play something a little bit more off the beaten path. It goes E5. Reasonable move. I could trade and go Knight FD7, but I do need to win the game. So if I need to win this game, Knight FD7 has to be the correct move. Yeah, like I, I have to win. Oh, Angel already drew his game. You know, Angel already drew his game. He's on 9 out of 11. So who's Borna playing? He's playing Jeffrey. Okay. Wait, it's my move. Yeah. Okay, takes. I'll take. castle I guess why not this is exactly the kind of position that I want in this game though exactly the kind of position that I want and need play c5 interesting move very very interesting move so I can trade the pawns I can also not trade the pawns um if this wasn't a situation where I need to win, I probably wouldn't do this. But because I think I need to, I think I think I have to try to win this game. I need to play. I need to play more on the edge here. Oh wait, wait. Do I have ninety? Wait, no, I do have ninety-five here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Play ninety-seven. It's the right move here. I think knight d7 is the right move. Let's go f5, idea f4 maybe. Wait, what? Wait, did he miss f4? I think he missed f4 completely. No, he blundered. Yeah, I, okay, now I'm in it to win. I'm getting f3. Unless I miss something very obvious. No, no, he he blundered. He's he's using too much time here. He blundered f4. I've got great chances now to maybe win this game. F3, of course. I mean, winning maybe is too strong. Cause it's still we still have a long way to go. But I'm trying to think what I do. Bishop e5, f4, queen g3, king h1. That's not winning. I mean, knight f3, rook f3 maybe also, but. Actually, this is not. Thought this was winning, but now somehow like it's not. I mean, I can make a draw with queen h4, queen takes h3. I was sure this was good, and now like I'm looking at the position, it's like not good. But a draw draw doesn't get me anything, so I've got I've got to do this. Did I just blunder again? Probably I did. I can play bishop c3. I can play queen c8 too. No, no, no. Queen c8 is no good. If I'm going to do this, it's only a draw though if I trade. c8, queen b5. I really don't want to go for this, but I, I have to. Uh, this sucks. I didn't want to have to do this. Nah, this sucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is queen B5? Whoa, what is queen B5?
I have nothing better. I have to make a draw anyway. Ah, uh, this sucks. Ah, uh, this just sucks. Ah, uh, this sucks. Ah, uh, this sucks. He blundered it, and it's... Is that better early? I mean... Maybe I should've played Queen E7 here. Ah. Uh, I mean, maybe if Bornick doesn't... Maybe if Bornick loses, but... Was F3 premature, maybe? F3 was... Wow, F3 was just wrong. But I'm not even better. Wow. Made a gloomy gainer for the prime. Okay. Let's watch board next game. Let me refresh. Queen E1. Jeffrey's going to... Wait, Jeffrey wins. Wait, Jeffrey wins. Oh, whoa. This is going to be close. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I've got a better tie break. Wait, I might actually win. I might win now on tie break. Wait. It's only 2.5 though. So Jeffrey could get a better tie break than me. Jeffrey could get a better tie break, but yes. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm so lucky. Yeah, but I don't know. Jeffrey might, Jeffrey might win. At worst, it's second, but let's see. I think Jeffrey wins by wins by two on the tiebreaker. It's gonna be very close. I don't know. I don't know. PayPal Bornick is crying. I mean, Bornick had a great tournament. I mean, it's very unlucky for Bortnick. Let's see. Uh, we'll check the rest of the games. I mean, we'll just wait for the games to finish. They should all be pretty close to done. I'm up by 2.5, but it, I mean, 2.5 is not guaranteed. If it's up by five, I would win for sure. But normally the tiebreaker, if it's within like three, it can always flip. Yeah, no way to easily, easily calculate it since scores are tiebreak, yeah. Let's see, how many games? A refresh. Let's see. Still a few games. Uh, Eric Rosen is... Trying to survive against Sergei Gigalico here. Um, whoa. Probably B5 here. Check. Eric blunders. Born in the USA, I was born in the USA, I was born in the usa i was okay yes we get the win you guys we get the win big win 69 on the tiebreaker yep yeah big big win yeah thank you so much to after work for the prime appreciate yeah very, jeffrey did me a solid by winning the final game um yeah so, all right, you guys. So we do get the big win in title Tuesday with nine and a half out of 11. I find a way to keep it together. Um, tell Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we do find a way we get the win um, in the evening title Tuesday with nine and a half out of 11. So I am going to be calling it, you guys. I know today was a little bit weird. I, I streamed, I went, took a nap, came back, streamed two more. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'm going to be calling it a day.